Hey, welcome to day number eight of the 25 day productivity challenge. You can find all the information related to the challenge at 41more.com forward slash challenge. Now today we're getting a little more specific because if you've been following along, we talked about yesterday, the importance of delegating to your team because you as the mom should not be doing everything you need to delegate. So that's why today we're talking about chore systems. Now, there's a lot of ways that families go about doing a chore system, and if your chore system's working, go for it. But if you're a little lost, or you haven't set up a chore system, or your chore system is not actually seeing things get done around the house, there's too much nagging going on, then maybe a peek inside our chore system will help you out. So we take the philosophy that our kids are going to do chores and everyone's going to do chores, but the kids that are 14 years and younger are going to get paid for their chores because our thinking is once you hit 14, you probably have at least a part-time job or some ways of making money, although you're still helping out with the family. But with the younger kids, we want them to learn about reward and we want them to be motivated. And honestly, we want them to learn how to manage their money while they're still in our house. Now, I know some people don't like that philosophy because they say, well, I don't get paid as the mom to do chores, so why should you get paid? And I totally understand that too. But this is where we've landed and it works really well for us because then it also cuts down on nagging. When the kids go to the store, they're not asking us for anything because they know the answer will be, well, you have money, you can decide if it's worth it or not. So it's a really good life skill of knowing, hey, if I want something, I'm gonna use my money and I have to decide if I wanna spend it or not. It also helps with teaching them how to save and how to give to church or other charitable things. So I think it's a really great system and you can find out, by the way, we have a chore system set up uh, workshop that you can watch and the link is in the, the blog post that goes with this video. You can find it on day eight if you go to 41more.com forward slash challenge because I know some of you are visual. And so what I'm about to tell you, if it's a little confusing listening to it, I want you to go and check that out, the chore system setup. But it'll also link to posts that explain how we split up our kids' allowance, which is what they get for doing chores. So if you want all the little details, check out my post with this video. But here's basically how I want you to go about setting up a chore system. In short, you're going to decide on all the chores you want to get off your plate, all the ones you want the kids to do, and you're gonna stick them on sticky notes. So if you want the dishwasher emptied five days a week, you're gonna write dishwasher on five different sticky notes. If you want the floor vacuum three times a week, stick vacuum on three sticky notes. And do that process until you have all the chores laid out for as many times a week as you want it done. Then you're gonna lay them out on a big tabletop um, and set it up like as a calendar. If you want, even draw in a calendar, a general calendar of the days of the week. And with the kids, figure out who's doing what on what day. So what if you have a pet and you need someone to feed the dog seven days a week, but you don't want two dog feedings on the same day and then skipping one day. Does that make sense? So as a team, work on setting up those sticky notes so that every chore gets done the right amount of time and it all gets done by certain kids. You then can start to write the kids' names on the sticky notes so they know who's doing what because you don't want one kid doing five chores on one day and nothing on another day. So as soon as you have it all laid out the way you want it, now's the time to transfer that to a chore chart, a big chalkboard, a big poster, we love using Trello and I've linked to that in my blog post as well because when my kids get on Trello to see what their homeschool work is for the day, they also see what their chores are for the day. And there's no excuse for not doing it. It's right there. I don't have to nag them. They know it's expected and they generally get it done without complaining. So if this sounds amazing, I'm going to tell you this is going to change your productivity because you're getting stuff off your plate as the mom. You have to let your kids on in these life skills and helping to run the household because it's good for them too. So this is day number eight of the productivity challenge. And if you want to find all the information related to this topic and more, and also get access to see how we've set up our chore system, you can find all of that at 41more.com forward slash challenge.